Hi everyone, it's me and my dog Mike right here. Say hi Mike. Yeah. Mike, you're a dog. I keep telling you, he has issues. This seems to be doing a lot, okay? This should change the picture. What we're going to do is go over how to use the paint color. Notice it's here on the toolbox. If you can't find it, type the letter G on your keyboard and you're going to go to the gradient and the paint bucket. Just click and hold and you'll find that paint bucket. When I clicked on it and it selected in the toolbox, it showed us up here on our option bar, right? And it's set to fill in with the foreground color. And you know, that's the top square here. If I click, it fills in the space. And notice it stopped when it hit another color. That's how it knows it's going to quit filling the picture up with another color when it hits another color. Now, up on the option bar, we can change the foreground to pattern, and then this icon becomes active. There's all, we don't have all of these. I, I have a different version of Photoshop, but you will have some colored patterns at the end. You just click on them. They become your selected clip in your, in your window. It stopped when it hit an edge, so there it is all the way in the back. Now, I want to show you what happens, though, if it doesn't fill the whole thing in. Let's go back to foreground color. Now let's try to paint Mike's forehead and his ears. Oh, it didn't go all the way in. But there's some red there. There's no black there. So what I'm going to do is check the tolerance. Oh, somebody changed it down to real low. Okay, put it up to 30 or a magic number. I'm going to do undo over here and see if we can see if it works. If I click here, we'll fill in the whole, whole head with a higher tolerance. And it's stuck like it does. Oh, boy. If I could go around, change the color, fill in the areas. Okay. Now, if you do have a break, remember, you can paint bucket with a brush, fill in the hole, choose another color, take your paint bucket. I'll clean check you up with a brush so I can check you before I paint so I won't stop. We've got to plug up the holes with your paint brush or, or the pencil tool. Now there's some other things up here on the option bar like a mode. I'm not going to go over these today, but hey, if you're an artist and you want to experiment with these and figure out what they do, more power to you. Be like an artist. Be daring. Be brave. Explore. I do want to talk about opacity because I lower the opacity. Let's switch this color to black. I lower the opacity and it, it's like making it transparent. I've seen with the color mini. It looks like I did that in white, but the idea was to make it transparent. Remember, the opposite of opacity is transparency. Put this back up to 100%. And I will hide the lines around my if I wanted to. Okay, the other stuff up here will leave alone for now. Make sure they're checked off. If things aren't working right, make sure these two boxes are checked off. Well, that's the paint bucket. Enjoy. Say bye-bye, Mike. Meow, meow. Duck on you, dog.